Okay, this is the box of the iTrip Autopilot with smart scan function. Make sure if you buy a FM transmitter, works with iPhone has to be on it. Not just made for iPod or iPod Touch or whatever. If it doesn't say works with iPhone, you cannot, most of the time you cannot use the, um, the phone function. Basically it consists of three parts, thing that goes into the um, cigarette lighter. Um, as you can see, you can steer your iPhone or iPod or Apple device over it. You can pause it or start it or go back or forward. This little thing around here is a is a ring that has three different colors. So if it's ready to charge your iPhone and it has power from your car, the ring is red. If you connect your iPhone and it's charging, you um, then the ring turns yellow. And if your iPhone is charged, it's green. Then you have the dock connector which goes into your iPhone or whatever. And you have this little thing. Uh, where I'm going to show you much more things about this a little bit later. I sticked two little Velcro st um, stickers on the back of it and also on my dashboard. So if I'm in the car, I just stick it up here and it stays there and it doesn't hang around. So that's this is how it looks. Um, here is the function button. If you push on this button, you have three possibilities. You, you can scan for the best frequency. You can, whoops, you can go on presets. These are mine. And you can go into the mode function where you can change the, the smart sound, which is kind of like loudness. Um, you can go to stereo mono. And here you can go to Griffin. Okay. The Griffin manual, manual is not very precise. So I'm, I'm going to show you some little tricks which might help some people. Okay. You choose, if you choose function, and you hold the mode pressed and let it go then you can see I don't know if you see it you can choose US Euro or Japan so you have much more frequencies um, you can much lower like G for Japan it's it goes down to 76 I think other thing is if you choose function and go to mode and push the middle button and the Griffin sign is not lighted anymore then you can also um, use this little box as a remote as you see this is not in the manual either so you can um, either you know start or stop or whatever do from up here or from the plug-in in the cigarette lighter so you you have two ways to do it you know okay I'm now gonna connect my iPhone to it so that you can see I show you then that the, that the light turns in a, in a different color so if I plug in my iPhone And like hold it down here, there's a whole lot more of static noise. Up here, no noise at all as you can see. As you can see right here, my iPhone is, the display is off. So I don't have to use to, you know, to touch the iPhone and switch the iPod function on. I just can go down here and say start. So bang, here it is. And I think the sound is pretty good too. So um, I have no static noise. Uh, it keeps on running. If I go and uh, let me see if I get it on the cam. If I go to the next tile, I can go up here, get the next tile. And as you can see here, um, oh, it's a red, a, a, a yellow light. Okay, this is a comparison between my um, regular car stereo, which isn't really great, so don't expect a great sound here. Uh, this is right now the Cologne radio station, and now I'm gonna switch to the um, to the iPhone function of the phone and the transmitter. So you 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 hardly hear any difference. So the sound quality is really great. That's at least what I think. Um, um, you can also navigate, you know, I have the Navigon software on it. Um, one thing I think is pretty cool is that the voice is from the, uh, from the navigating software is going over my car speakers now. Like if I'm trying to, you know, to go like to a, to a point of interest and I say start navigation. Can you hear it? So, um, from my 
from where I'm sitting, you can really understand it very well. So I think that's pretty neat, you see, and I still, and if I want to switch a song, I just can, you know, go like this, and I'm still in the navigation mode. So that's pretty cool. Another thing that isn't in the manual is if you if you push function for a little while, then it shows you the software version and everything of this iTrip model. But as I said before, if you want to have this little um, remote function on this iTrip 2, you have to make sure that the Griffin sign is not lighted up. If it's lighted up, you will see if it goes back in this mode you have not the possibility to of the remote function of this thing so I keep it that way and then I you know I can use this as a remote as well as the plug so you see that's the yellow light oh, so this is the green ring when your iPhone is completely charged up here you can see that the battery is charged from the eye trip so it's no problem if you can't tell the color of the rings you can see it up in your iPhone anyway. GPS function if the mp3 tags are there it tells you which song is playing um, it's not that fast but it's okay it's, you know it says Paul Desmond okay if you want a call, phone call as soon as you press the um, connect button Music mutes as soon as you hang up Music comes back so that works great too you see That's the end of my review. I hope you liked it and I could show you some new stuff and maybe You know you could make up your mind if this is a device for you or not It's definitely a device for me because I think it works great um, So see you next time so long